Hello and welcome. This is Danish, the founder of JSS. And in this video, we are going to cover the skills roadmap for uh, JSS members that are going into AWS administration or DevOps in future or Azure administration and DevOps in future. So let's talk about it, how this is possible in JSS platform. We all know this reality that most of the companies now that you are going to apply or are currently working in is hybrid meaning they are using on-premises technologies such as Active Directory, servers, virtualizations, and it's connected to one of the top cloud providers such as AWS and Azure. So the question is, how are we going to decide what is good for you as an IT professional? So the first thing over here is the prerequisite. I assume, and in JSS, we tell people that you do have to have some sort of IT background, IT support, systems administration, networking, cybersecurity, whatever it is, you should have that IT proper business level job prior getting into the cloud. Now, a lot of people have done it zero to hero type of approach, which is fine. And that's for the people who can make it possible. They have their techniques, but a lot of people come to us from that approach and they'd say, well, I went to this specific certification online, I paid, I went to this boot camp, I paid, and then even I got a job, but then I got fired. So I'm back again because I need to learn fundamentals and I don't understand a lot of things that are happening in cloud. So of course we work in the issue area as well. So we are not gonna tell people that, let's just jump into AWS and we'll make you a cloud engineer, or let's just make you a DevOps engineer. We don't do that. So we are going to start with the correct format. And what is the correct format? Let's talk about that. Basically, the correct format is very simple understanding. You need to know about the networking. And I'm, when I say networking, this is just normal IP networking, knowing about the routers and switches, how companies are using that sort of connections. And then once you log into their systems, what are they using for the management pieces like Active Directory servers? So if you have that understanding and you know what I'm talking about, this means you can really get into cloud because then you are not going to be stuck with extreme basics or the fundamentals that will annoy you in any other projects that you're going to come across in the cloud. If you are a JSS member, especially a premium member, you will go to roadmaps if you're brand new to IT. And then you need to finish this roadmap and your focus is just going to be getting an IT support job for six months if you really want to get into cloud. And then after that, what you will do, you'll go down and then you will take the transitioning skills roadmap. This is going to teach you the networking, management, a little bit of server, cloud, virtualization, everything will be covered in this one. And then you can basically start the cloud administrator essentials roadmap. This is going to teach you the basics of cloud. And then we can go into more specialization. Now, if you're already a working sysadmin, network engineer, and you're trying to transition into cloud, you must be wondering, do I really need to take this? Uh, this is below, below the level and I already did this. No, you don't have to. You are already a sysadmin. So what you need to do, simply go over the transitioning skills roadmap, open this course and go over the content. See if something is missing for you and you can quickly cover that. By getting into this and checking the content, and if you feel like super confident that this is something very easy for you, this means you are absolutely ready to just start the cloud administration essential. And that's where you will learn some good fundamental knowledge with hands-on approach. So let's go ahead and open this roadmap by clicking on start roadmap or continue roadmap. So as you can see, we are calling it cloud administrator basics and it's associated with the CompTIA Cloud Plus Lab. When you open this course, you will come across information that you absolutely need, the concepts, the architecture, and even if you go to the chapters, we have attached some labs. So then if you go over a lot of theory, then at the end, you can do some practice. So the first chapters are going to be just one, two, three chapters, and you're gonna learn a lot about theoretical side of the cloud, and everybody needs to know that. And then of course, we have added labs in those chapters and then after that you have modules modules are directly connected to that cloud plus lab and then you will have a lecture in the beginning and then you are going to do a lot of hands-on practice so by covering all of this you're going to have that solid foundational knowledge for cloud it doesn't matter if you're going to do this in azure or aws you're going to come across both cloud environment in this course so it's uh, cloud neutral and then after that, you see that we have 
a PowerShell and Linux courses that is absolutely a requirement to become a cloud engineer later on. This is why we have that sort of skills in the essential side of cloud where you will finish the essentials and then you will finish the Linux course and then you will finish the PowerShell course. Now, what it will help you when you get into the AWS and let's say after this, you decide to become an AWS cloud engineer, then all of this information will really, really help you. So the end goal for you are going to be either you are becoming a hybrid sysadmin. This means you're working at the administrative level on each cloud environment and you're still a sysadmin, but they're calling you hybrid sysadmin. This means you're working with DevOps engineers, but at the same time, you need to know a lot about cloud to be able to manage things. And that could lead you to working on a Linux environment, PowerShell stuff, and just normal, uh, you know, cloud technologies. So this is why we have administration and DevOps separated. Later on, if you want to become a DevOps engineer, then you will learn specifically DevOps type of skills on that respective uh, cloud environment. So if you want to learn Docker's, you probably will learn Docker's inside AWS. If you want to learn Docker's again in Azure, you're going to do the same thing in Azure. But you're not going to confuse yourself with two together. So this is why we have a roadmaps for specific uh, specialization so then you are clear with your goals so to summarize you are going to go to the roadmaps and then first make sure that you cover the transitioning skills roadmap that is just a prerequisite site and after that you see that if you want to start the cloud administration skills you're going to cover the cloud administrator essential roadmap which is going to cover the basics linux and powershell and then after that if you want to go do the specialization you will pick on either aws or Azure, do not pick two together because you need to know where you want to proceed for more specialized roles later on in your career. And then if you still have other questions, let us know, we will help you out. Thank you.